right, guys. Chuck here with Chuck's Outdoor Adventures. Chuck, yep. Alaskan Ballistics. Chuck, Chuck and Chuck. Well, uh, part two, we're going to compare the XDM 5.25 new 10 millimeter with Chuck's Glock 40 10 millimeter. What's interesting uh, about these 10 millimeters is they didn't replicate the exact barrel length of Glock, which was probably smart. So this is their longer one, but it's only got a 5.25 inch barrel compared to the, what, 6 inch barrel? 6 inch barrel, but I've had problems with the 6 inch barrel getting the full velocity sometimes. It might be with the lockup and the spring and stuff. So it wouldn't surprise me if that outshoots it on velocity sometimes. I'm interested to see what will happen. we got some different kinds of uh, ammo. We're going to do some ballistic tests. So uh, cool little gun though. Haven't had a single malfunction through it. Chuck fired it some today. Um, so yeah, we're going to compare them. Stay tuned. I meant to do that. It's pretty close. This feels like it's a little snappier. I still say that Springfield's snappier. Yeah, so. I would agree. Interesting. Well, Glock 40 wins on that one too. <laughs> Hornady 180 grain XTP. Here we go. Glock Model 40. First time I've tested these. 180 grain XTP Hornady. Well. Good watermelon split. split. It turned the rock over. Look, that rock was like sitting the other way. It was sitting like this. And when it, it hit, it turned over. Yeah, that is pretty sweet. Here we go, Springfield XD, 10 millimeter. Forgot my eyeglasses somewhere, my ski goggles. Best eye protection I got. Here we go. 180 grain XTP, Springfield XDM, 10 millimeter, 5.25 inch barrel. Here we go. Well, split the cantaloupe pretty good as well. Let's see what we got there. Well, in terms of penetration, the same bullet with the Springfield XD penetrated deeper. It got into the second bottle, and we have the round in the second bottle instead of just the first bottle. I'm betting there's a little bit better penetra uh, speed and velocity, possibly a little bit less with the XD. It could be a little bit more, but Glock 40 doesn't always get more velocity. Yeah, there's some fragments, and then right there in Chuck's hand, if you can't, if you can hold on to it. Seemed like it uh, mushroomed out a little better in the uh, 40. It's hard to tell. That's pretty yeah, good, though. Yeah, it, it mushroomed out a little bit better in the 40. Let's go get them and compare them. Yeah, just comparing the two out of the Model 40 and the Springfield XDM 10 millimeter. Yeah, definitely uh, looks like the Model 40... Maybe the Model 40 got more velocity, so it flattened out quicker, which means it penetrated less. And the Springfield XDN 10 millimeter penetrated a little bit more. So interesting. Definitely interesting because it didn't get as much velocity. Maybe. 
All right, we'll see in the chronograph test, definitely. Look at that, it's a w wider. Yep. Too bad we don't have a caliper out here with us today for the scientific folk in the crowd who are gonna troll us on that, but that's okay. But yeah, definitely the Glock 40 wins on expansion. XDM wins on penetration with this ammo. They both penetrated this, about the same. Well, the, the Springfield XD penetrated a little bit more with the Extreme Penetrators. They went through the fourth bottle and bounced out. We couldn't find it, whereas the Glock 40 went into the fourth bottle. All right, either one will be good enough for a bear. Wouldn't you say, Bear Skull Expert? Yeah. All right, but these right here, this one's going to be better expanding. This one's going to be better penetrating. All right, I'm going to do three shots of this 180 grain Hornady XTP. What do you think? Do three shots of that. Yep. Three shots each. Save that for some personal protection rounds. There you go. Here we go. First Glock Model 40. Error. Another error. Twelve ten. Twelve ten. Let me put uh it's supposed to be according to the Bosco twelve seventy five. That's Hornady for you. Yeah. That's Hornady for you. You can say that again. That's Hornady for you. Oh, not literally, but <laughs> let's do three more shots. Twelve forty seven, twelve thirty four, twelve forty seven again. So that was four recorded shots with the Hornady, and it's not getting the speed it's supposed to out of the Glock. And that, you know, the Glock Model 40, there are a lot of ammos that don't get what they say it does on the box. The SIG ammo just didn't, the Hornady ammo didn't, um, some of the Underwood didn't. Let's try the Springfield now. Here we go. 1231, 1241, 1260, 1244. So it probably averaged a little bit better. Um, yeah. It averaged a hair better. I thought the Springfield might might be a little bit better. Um, that was with Hornady XTP. So there we go. Springfield XDM 10 millimeter in the 5.25 inch barrel. Average velocity 1,244 feet per second. Standard deviation was 10.416 with an average muzzle energy of 618.684 foot pounds of energy. God, Chuck's usually the one doing this kind of thing. Um, moving on to the Glock Model 40 10 millimeter with a six inch barrel. Average muzzle velocity, 1,234.5 feet per second. Standard deviation, 17.4451, with an average muzzle energy of 609.2711 foot-pounds of energy. What a world, what a world, what a world. All right, guys. Well, that wraps up part two. Um, between the... Uh, XDM 5.25 and the Glock 40, I would say that there are some advantages to this gun, but the Glock 40 does does win overall. Um, we noticed more muzzle flip and felt recoil in the Springfield for sure. Yeah, and the, the Model 40, if you check out part one on my channel, Alaskan Ballistics, a little bit more accurate. Yeah. Enough that we could get some good reads over the chronograph. We couldn't always do that with the Springfield. It just wasn't that accurate. Yeah, so I would say the Glock is a winner, but there are some advantages to this. This is a shorter gun. It's going to be easier to carry in bear country, although it's got this slide cut out. I don't think that's good for outdoors and hunting. Um, but it, this match barrel, I think, supports the bullets a little more, and we're getting slightly more ballistics out of this. So, um, you know, they both could be decent choices, but I would probably go with Glock. Yeah, stick with the Glock Model 40. Glock's the winner. All right, sorry, Springfield. 
you're watching this, if you all ever see this, well, you now you know what you got to work on. Uh, Springfield. Well, Springfield. Besides your two-way stuff. That's right. Yeah. Support the Second Amendment by a Glock. Thanks, guys. All right, you clean up now, Chuck. I got to get out of here. Man, you're if that, if there's brass everywhere, dude. I'm the one that has to get to work early. Just put that out. Just out of